I'm Mary Liz Wright with the University of Illinois Extension. Today we're going to talk about freezing and in particular the equipment that you need to freeze produce. We can begin by talking about what pots and pans we might need. A large pot that you can boil a volume of water in is good. Even better is what we call a blanching pot. This is a pot that has an insert, you can call it a spaghetti cooker, but it has an insert that you can lower the vegetables into the boiling water with and blanch them. This is a small size for if you just want to blanch a pound or so of vegetables. Of course, hot pads, we want this to be a safe operation. You're dealing with boiling water. We don't want you to get burned. Containers, really important to have straight sides on the containers. They need to be commercially made, not leftover yogurt or cottage cheese containers. You can also use glass jars, but make sure the jar has straight sides. This shoulder on this jar makes it hard to get the frozen food out of. So make sure your jars have straight sides. You can also use commercially made freezer bags. These are not storage bags. They're made particularly to go into the freezer. The tray method of freezing is just about the easiest way to preserve fruit. So you want a flat tray. It also makes it easier to put parchment paper on to transfer the fruit more easily. Timers are really important. You don't want to use a kitchen timer. When you are blanching vegetables, this is an exact science. Make sure you use a minute timer that is accurate. You must follow those directions. A thermometer for your freezer is a good idea. You want your freezer to be zero degrees. Anything above zero degrees compromises the quality of your produce. It shortens the life of the produce in the freezer. You need to label the items in your freezer either with freezer labels, freezer tape, or if you're using the bags, there's a label printed on the outside of the bag. Freezer paper is, can also be used to freeze large solid items. Freezer paper is not wax paper. It is not air permeable and made to withstand the cold temperature of the freezer. Another good idea is to keep a freezer log. And this is simply a sheet of paper that you can affix to the outside of your freezer that simply lists what's in it. Then as you take the item out, cross it off, and that way you will always know that the food in your freezer is being rotated and used within a reasonable amount of time. Freezing is a nutritious way to preserve the taste of summer. You can feed your family well out of your freezer all winter long. The best source for instructions for freezing both fruits and vegetables comes to us from the University of Georgia Cooperative Extension.